Have you ever wondered about the history and significance of the Western Wall? Let's take a journey back in time to the bustling city of Jerusalem, where the Western Wall, or the Kotel as it is fondly known, stands as a testament to the enduring spirit of the Jewish faith. To truly appreciate this monumental structure, we need to delve into its ancient origins. Picture this. More than 2,000 years ago, the second Jewish temple stood in all its glory in Jerusalem. This temple was not merely a building, it was the heart of Jewish life, a beacon of faith and hope. But as the wheel of time turned, the temple met with a tragic fate and was destroyed. Yet, amidst the rubble and ruins, one part of the temple defiantly stood its ground, the Western Wall. This resilient wall made of limestone is the only remaining part of the once magnificent temple. It's like a time capsule, preserving the echoes of a bygone era. The Western Wall isn't just a historical monument, though. It's a living symbol of the Jewish faith's resilience. Imagine the countless generations who have stood before this wall, their hopes and prayers seeping into the ancient stones. It's a place where the past and present meet, a bridge between the old and new worlds. The wall's survival against all odds mirrors the journey of the Jewish people themselves. They've weathered storms, faced adversities, but like the wall, they've stood firm, their faith unwavering. So the Western Wall, or Kotel, as it is commonly known, is a symbol of the Jewish faith's resilience and perseverance throughout history. It's a testament to the enduring spirit that has carried them through the centuries, a silent witness to their journey. But the story doesn't end here. There is so much more to discover about this remarkable wall. So stay with us as we continue to explore the rich tapestry of the Western Wall's history and significance. But why is the Western Wall so important to people of the Jewish faith? Well, let's delve into that. The Western Wall, also known as the Wailing Wall or the Kotel, is more than just a remnant of an ancient edifice. It's a symbol of profound religious significance to Judaism. It's considered the holiest site, a sacred place where the divine presence is always felt. This wall, my friends, is the last vestige of the ancient Jewish temple in Jerusalem, a structure that stood as a testament to the Jewish faith and tradition. So why do people make a pilgrimage to this wall? Good question. The Western Wall is a place of prayer, a beacon calling to the faithful from around the globe. It's a place where voices filled with hope, gratitude and sometimes despair ascend to the heavens. It's a place where the fervour of faith meets the quiet of contemplation, creating a symphony of silent prayers. And here's an interesting fact. The tradition of inserting written prayers into the cracks of the wall. Yes, you heard that right. Believers pen down their most intimate prayers, wishes and hopes onto tiny pieces of paper and tuck them into the wall's crevices. These are not mere notes, they are heartfelt messages addressed to the divine, encapsulating the hopes and dreams of millions. This tradition has been carried out for centuries, making the Western Wall a living, evolving manuscript of the Jewish people's collective prayers and aspirations. So when you look at the Western Wall, see beyond the stone structure, see a symbol of resilience, a sanctuary of prayer, a repository of dreams and a testament to faith. The wall is not just a historical monument, it's a tangible link to the past, a beacon for the present and a symbol of hope for the future. So the Western Wall is not just a historical monument, but a living, breathing testament to the Jewish faith. But what happened to the wall after the destruction of the Second Temple, you may ask? Well, let's dive into that fascinating chapter of history. In the wake of the Second Temple's destruction, the Western Wall, or the Wailing Wall, as it's also known, found a new role. As the last remnant of the ancient Jewish temple, it morphed into a place of reverence for the Jewish people. They flocked to the wall, their hearts heavy with the weight of loss, and their spirits filled with hope and reverence. It became a symbol of resilience, a beacon of faith, and a sanctuary for prayer. The wall's significance, however, was not confined to its role as a sacred site. It also bore witness to the turbulent tides of history, standing tall amid the ebb and flow of empires. But it was the events of the Six-Day War in the summer of 1967 that would once again catapult the Western Wall into the spotlight. During this brief but intense conflict, 
Israel combated a coalition of Arab states. In the span of just six days, Israel emerged victorious, regaining control of Jerusalem and with it, the Western Wall. This was a monumental moment for the Jewish people who for the first time in centuries had control over their holiest site. In the aftermath of the war, the Israeli authorities expanded the prayer area around the wall. This allowed more worshippers to gather at the site and pay their respects, further cementing the wall's importance in Jewish religious life. However, the wall's history didn't stop there. Its story continued to unfold, with each chapter more intriguing than the last. But that's a tale for another time. For now, let's pause and reflect on this pivotal period in the wall's history. Thus, the Western Wall became an even more central place for Jewish worship after the Six-Day War. A testament to faith, resilience and the enduring power of history, the Western Wall stands as a silent witness to the trials and triumphs of the Jewish people. But not everything about the Western Wall is about peace and reverence, is it? The Western Wall, despite its sacred significance, has unfortunately been the epicenter of numerous controversies and tensions. These disputes often stem from the deeply rooted beliefs and customs of different religious groups and their claims to this revered site. The Wall's history is marked by a series of conflicts, with each group vying for control, for the right to worship and for their voice to be heard. The friction, sadly, has often escalated into outright confrontations, with the peaceful prayer area turning into a battleground of conflicting ideologies. One of these controversies revolves around the issue of gender segregation. Traditionally, the wall has separate sections for men and women, a practice that has been challenged numerous times, particularly by feminist groups. They argue for the right to pray in the same way as men, in a shared space which has sparked heated debates. Another source of tension is the conflict between Orthodox Jews and other Jewish denominations. The Orthodox community, which controls the site, imposes strict rules on prayer and dress code, causing friction with more liberal Jewish groups. The Israeli government has been thrust into the heart of these controversies, tasked with the delicate job of mediating these conflicts. They have made several attempts to address the issues, including proposing plans for an egalitarian prayer space and implementing regulations to maintain order. However, these efforts often meet with resistance, further complicating the situation. Despite these challenges, the government persists in its mission to make the Western Wall a place where all Jews, regardless of their denomination or gender, can come to pray and connect with their heritage. The controversies surrounding the Western Wall are a reflection of the complexities of religious freedom, identity and tradition. They serve as a reminder of the ongoing struggle for coexistence and mutual respect in a world of diverse beliefs and practices. Despite the controversies, the Western Wall continues to be a beacon of faith and a symbol of endurance. So, what is the current significance of the Western Wall? Well, let's dive right in. Today, the Western Wall, or the Kotel, as it is fondly called, wears many hats. It's not just a wall, it's a beacon of faith, a testament to resilience and a symbol of national identity. Firstly, as a religious site, it holds immense significance for Jews worldwide, serving as a spiritual magnet that draws in believers for prayers and pilgrimage. The wall whispers tales of ancient Jewish heritage and spirituality, echoing the prayers and hopes of generations. Secondly, it's a major tourist attraction, drawing millions from around the globe. Its enduring stones tell a tale of history and survival, captivating the hearts of those who visit. Each crack and crevice has a story to tell, if only walls could talk. Lastly, the Western Wall is a symbol of national identity for Israel, a physical reminder of the enduring spirit of the Jewish people. It is a testament to their resilience, their history of survival against all odds. Preserving the Wall is a priority, ensuring that it stands tall for future generations to experience its profound resonance. Efforts are ongoing to maintain and protect this piece of history so it continues to tell its tale. So you see, the Western Wall, with its layers of history and faith, continues to stand tall, bearing witness to the past, present and future of the Jewish people.